Hello there. Let's welcome to your second Alexander Technique lesson. Yes, it's very good to see you too. Now today we will be going over and recapping all of the lessons and lovely little guidelines that we learnt in the first lesson. And after that, we will be working and focusing more on chair work. So, getting in and out of a chair and getting comfortable with the position of sitting. Now, do you have any questions, concerns or just thoughts? about what we learnt last time. Uh, I see. Let me have a look. Alright. So, do you remember what the guidelines were last time? That should help your question. That's right. Allow the neck to be free. Allow the neck to be free, good, and allow the neck and head to just drift up and sit on top of the spine, effortless. Everything that we do must be effortless, right, good. And have you been pregnant? Sing at home as much as you can. <laughs> That's great. Yes, I can see that there's a definite improvement since last time. Good. So first of all, I would just like to check your overall posture. Just to make sure that everything is perfectly aligned. Head relationship is all working well. Okay, so head, head is free, head is free, good. Chin horizontal with the floor, good. Shoulders relax, relax, relax. Shoulders back. Down and relax. That's very good. Neck is free. Head balances up. Your arms are nice, relaxed by your side. That's right. Yes. Good. Remember what I told you last time about relaxing your arms, how they feel on the back of a sofa. That's right. The shoulders, the arms follow. Very good. Now the back, just tip tummy in a little bit more. Good. Just tip it in. Hips nice and rounded. Back is nice and straight. Back is straight. Shoulders and head. Bend in the knee, nice. We're going to be working more on chair work, getting in and out of a chair. And 
You're going to actually be working a little bit more uh, thoroughly in the sitting position today just to acclimatize your body for our next session where we'll be looking more at your position working in front of a computer. As Alexander said, the relationship of our head and neck is crucial to our well-being and the relationship can have a huge impact on our overall wellness, aches and pains, even illnesses. And when we sit down, especially when we're at a computer, our head tends to follow where the screen is. And likewise, on a phone, your head is crunching down, looking into the phone, and the spine is crunching all day long. And it's just quite terrible, really. So, with this technique, you can be more mindful, and you'll find your whole well-being will improve. So, have you been practicing getting in and out of a chair at home? Good, you've been more mindful. Well, that's brilliant. Like I say, if we are more mindful of our position and our bodies and how we do things, then our whole well-being is only going to only going to have a positive impact. So, in your own time, if you would just show me how you have been practicing getting, getting into the chair, sitting into the chair, I won't necessarily guide you or offer any pointers at this point. I will just be feeling your head-neck relationship as you stand as you sit, I apologise. So yes, in your own time. Very good. Alright. So that was very nice and controlled. Very good. Let's look at this head neck relationship here. The neck is free. The neck is free. Chin horizontal to the floor. Well, I can say that you've definitely improved since our last visit, for sure. There was a little bit of um, anticipation there, I would say. So, now we are going to stand up. Again, very good, very good. Wonderful, excellent. So I noticed there was still a little bit of bracing. I could feel that there was a little bit of tension here in the neck. Did you feel as though your body uh, anticipated moving? Yes. Uh -huh. Well, our bodies know how to move. Our bodies know how to stand and sit. We do it all day long. The important thing is, is that your neck didn't crunch forward, I noticed, which is brilliant. When we anticipate to get up, we crunch our bodies forward and then we lift ourselves up. We don't need to do that. But you didn't, and that's brilliant. It should all be effortless. Effortless. So now I'm going to guide you more slowly down into the chair. Remember, bend at the knees and quite quickly sit down into the chair. Okay. Bend the knees, straight back, quite quickly into the chair. Perfect. Much better. So 
Let's work now on the getting up in a little bit more detail. So, remember what we said last time. The body tips forward, tips forward and back, forward and back. And this is the relationship that we need on our, in our bodies and across our neck-head relationship to tip us forward and out of the chair. It's quite a primitive sort of a movement. You tip forwards, let's tip back, tip forwards, tip back, and as we tip forwards this time we're going to rise and stand, and stand. Yes, remember, the tipping forward is what we need, not to propel ourselves out of the chair, but it's just the natural way to get up. Just effortless. Good, how does that feel? You'd like to do it one more time, but that's perfectly fine. So, don't anticipate, just quite quickly sit down. Wonderful. That's it. Don't anticipate it. Rock forwards, rock forwards, and stand up. Effortless. And the head and the neck are free. The head is floating. The head is even arms and legs all have their part. They all play their part. So we're going to get into the chair and then I'm going to be moving you into the position um, that has the best correlation correspondence to the head and neck relationship. All right, so as you did before, prepare to sit and So as you can see, your shoulders are immediately rounded forward, they're hunched. So first, let's lengthen up the spine, just lengthen that, that's right, tip the chin forward a little bit more, that's it. And as you feel that lengthening of the spine, lengthen down the back, that's it, lengthen. In the back. That's it. Wonderful. Yes, it's quite strange to start with. Let's push that tummy back a little bit more. That's it. There. And with the hips, you don't want to kind of sit right on your tailbone there, but halfway house in between. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Lengthen the back. Don't forget the head. That's good. The lengthening. Good. The head is free. The neck is free. The head is free. Lengthen the back. And mm-hmm. Neck is free. The back is lengthened. Hips. Nice and rounded. Now with the legs, G. 
just that's it. So straighten out the legs. <coughs> and the feet are planted on the floor. And the leg is at a right angle. Yes, that's it. That's it. Very good. The legs are straight. Feet on the floor. Very good. Yes. The neck is free. Right. So how does that feel? Yes. Mm -hmm. Strange at first, yes, because we are so used our bad habits. But once you are mindful of this and practice this, it will become second nature. So, now in that position, we can tip forward and stand quite quickly and you'll notice that it's much more effortless from that position into standing. Did you notice that? Brilliant. So, as you see, once our posture becomes second nature, everything else is effortless. Our sitting, standing, reaching, climbing, everything. Now, don't forget, even if we've been sitting and standing, shoulders relaxed, spine lengthen, lengthen out the spine, good, 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 hips, tip. it's like bend, wonderful. So now, we are going to get back into the chair, but I want you to get back into the position that I just put you in as much as possible, alright? So when you're ready, quite quickly, yes, perfect. Now, in the best way, that's it, lengthen back, lengthen the back, lengthen the back, that's it, lengthen, lengthen, sit forward on those hips, legs are perfect, head balanced, neck is Free. Neck is free, yes. Good, good, good. Very good. Neck is free. And are you ready to stand up? Tip forward. Very, very good. Okay. Neck is free, yes. Position. Good. Yes. Wonderful. You seem to be getting the hang of it very quickly. Yes. So once the crunching sensation goes, Alright, so how do you feel about that? Wonderful. Okay, so I would encourage you to practice that sitting position every day. Of course, we sit every day, so there's no need for us to forget or not practice this sitting position. Always be mindful of your body. The most important thing is that the neck is free, it's lengthened, shoulders relaxed. Remember that back spine relationship. Yes, and throughout the day you'll find that you'll be slowly sinking back into your old habits. But we must be mindful of our bodies. Mindful of the position.
positions and how we move. So, I'm very pleased with your progress. You're doing exceptionally. I think next time we will recap everything that we've gone over, that sitting position. And I think then we will move on to the computer desk work, if that's okay by you. We can see how much we crane and crunch and strain our necks to look at our technology. It's quite shocking. That's right, and I can also give you some tips on more healthy workspace. How to position your computer where it doesn't put unnecessary strain on the head, neck and body. Okay, perfect. Um, any questions? No? Well, I will look forward to seeing you next week. You've been an amazing student as always. I'm very pleased with your progress. So, until I see you next time, take care, and I'll see you then.